final. There's truly anybody's game. We know that the names like Penny, Alexiak, and Taylor Ruck are not here competing, and those have been two names on that national team relay for quite some time. Another name, Kyla Sanchez, no longer competing for Team Canada. So we're in a rebrand year for this women's 4 by 100 relay, which means that new names can come and make a statement and get their spot on this team. And so here we go. Now a finals coming to the deck, the women's 100-meter freestyle. And from Uxbridge, Ontario, in lane number nine, Hannah Cornish, 56-0 this morning. In lane number zero, Sarah Fournier, qualified for the 2018 Pan Pacific Championships team. Rebecca Smith in lane eight, Olympic silver medalist from Tokyo. In lane number one, from East Swim and HPC Ontario, Lily Daly, representing East Swim, as I mentioned, and the only junior in this field. Lane number seven, our most experienced, Catherine Savard. 54-5-1, personal best. Lane number two, Brooklyn Doubtright. Sophomore from Tennessee with the NCAA runner-up in the 200 freestyle. Panda Henderson, personal best this morning at 55-3-6. Lane three, Emma Cronin was on the world's team back in 2019, trying to get her name back on that roster. She captured a bronze medal in the 4 by 200 freestyle relay. She hardly needs any introduction, but there she is, Maggie McNeil. She won the 50-meter freestyle last night in a lifetime best. And in lane number four, Maggie Sophie Harvey. She's going to be our middle entry, and it is a bit of a new event for her. She's a very versatile swimmer, swimming everything from the corner I am all the way to the 100 backstroke. And one thing to note about this whole heat, only a second separated the group out of 10 people this morning. And it makes it more interesting that only Maggie and Kat out of this whole heat have qualified their spots onto the World Championships team. So everyone else here is trying to get their name on that roster to get to go to Worlds this summer. The top four will qualify for relay positions. Um, and this is gonna be a fun one to watch. Absolutely. Now, the standard to be able to race this, this in an individual event at the World Championships, a 54-2-5. But as Brittany said, the top four to the wall automatically get themselves on the team for a spot on the relay in the 4 by 100 meter freestyle. Here we go now with the final in the women's 100 meter freestyle. Let's watch the underwater and that speed out of McNeil in lane number five. She's an absolute pro at it. She's up right at the 15 meter mark. Mary Sophie Harvey duo doing a great job as well in lane four. And one thing so great about Mary Sophie Harvey's versatility is that she can stand up and perform to try to get on these teams in a variety of different events. And today the 100 free was what called to her. And let's see what they're out in. It was 24, sorry, 26 mid, 26.40 for Harvey, 26.6 for McNeil. And they're out in a 6.5 and a 6.6. The rabbit, Katrine Savard though, 26.32. Down in lane number seven, that's right on the pace that she did when she won a lifetime best of 54.5 at the 2021 Olympic trials. This is so close, we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on the oh my now, goodness! Maggie McNeil. Lanes two all the way to eight, coming to the finish together. McNeil separating herself in lane five. It's gonna be McNeil, 54.58 with the win. Second in 55.15, that's lane two. That's Brooklyn Dothright. Third will go to lane to number four, Mary Sophie Harvey. And fourth is going to go to lane number six. That's Hannah Henderson. Time of 55-2-0 is actually a tie for second. 55-15 between lanes two and four. Dothright and Harvey. And nominated for selection there. Hannah Henderson, Mary Sophie Harvey, Brooklyn Delbright, and Maggie McNeil on that women's 4 by 100 freestyle relay. Of course, we'll have to wait until the end of competition to see if Penny or Taylor are named as alternates for the relay, which will give them the opportunity. But all four of those get to go and likely will swim on the preliminaries of that four by 100 freestyle relay. And for a lot of them, Brooklyn and Hannah, their first senior national long course team. That's great. And Henderson, her lifetime best goes all the way back to 2019. So she was under that this morning and then under it again here tonight. Making her first ever senior team or debut at the World Championships along with Brooklyn Dothright. 
Get a chance to talk again to Maggie McNeil, winner of the 100 meter freestyle here tonight, Tama 54.58. And here she is with Brittany McLean. Maggie McNeil, the national champion in the 100 freestyle. I've said that a few times this week, a three time national champion. How does this one feel? Where are you at with your freestyle? Are you excited about the, the relay specifically to swim this race in the summer? I mean, definitely I love doing relays and it's something I got to focus on a lot last summer. So I'm definitely excited to see what we can put together this year. Yeah, and that is the, the last we're gonna see of you at these trials, a tremendous performance. You've had about three really busy weeks of racing. I wanna know what you're most looking forward to unwinding this week to be able to say, I'm finally done. I'm really excited to go home and see the rest of my family, but I'll be set back Sunday night to watch the rest of the finals, and I'm excited for the summer ahead. Well, you enjoy your time at home. You really deserve it. Congratulations on a great meet here, Maggie. Thank you. Congratulations. Another win for McNeil in our women's 100-meter freestyle. And as Brittany said, lots of racing for her over this last month. Off to a well-deserved break. The 100 meters 